I'm gonna be honest with you, we all like this. But damn, this is even better. In today's video, I have modified Crew Dragon, so it can land on the moon, Apollo style. However we will only use the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy to launch the capsules into orbit. As always we will reuse the first stages like a boss. Like a boss. So don't forget to stick around until the end, so you can witness some sick arrow breaking. Not gonna lie, that launch was pretty smooth. However, I have a message from Safety Doggo. If you subscribe to Morx right now, Safety Doggo will keep you safe tonight. Anyway, back to the video. Since we are reusing the first stage, it is tradition to set a sick beat drop for this landing. I'll be back when we do the second launch. You can't deny it, that landing looked insane. The next payload I will be launching, will be a Crew Dragon capsule, equipped with landing gear, extra fuel, and engines. This is the capsule, that will land on the lunar surface. However, because of the extra weight, I had to use the Falcon Heavy to launch the moon lander. Once again, I will set a beat drop for this landing. Okay, you gotta admit, that landing two boosters at the same time is cool, I have no idea, why I'm acting like it's my first time. Anyway, our third launch will send the service module into orbit. The service module will boost both capsules to the moon, this was the heaviest of all the modules, and I'm honestly surprised the Falcon Heavy could lift it off the ground. I'll be back, when we get into orbit.
After sending the service module to orbit, I begin my rendezvous to the command and service capsules. After docking with the command and lunar module, I quickly make my escape of Kerbin's orbit. I will show you this dramatic shot of my craft leaving Kerbin orbit. Once I do my capture burn, I undock the service and lunar module, and I attempt to dock the two together. Now you may be thinking, what the hell are you doing? My plan is to use the remaining fuel in the service module to deorbit the lunar module. Trust me, Morx has this all planned out. After getting close to the lunar surface, I undock the, the two modules after transferring fuel. I do a mistimed suicide burn, so I had to activate the emergency Draco engines to slow the capsule down enough. Landing on the surface was honestly a historic moment. The first Crew Dragon capsule to land on the moon, I quickly plant the flag and write some cringy description. I leave the lunar surface and prepare my journey back to Earth. To be honest I'm gonna include some pretty dope shots so just keep watching. Trust me, that Matt Lone video you are eyeballing in the suggested video section isn't worth it. Yeah don't deny it, I know you were thinking about it. At the same time, I'm glad you made it this far in the video. You are a trooper. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to brush your teeth, like this video, and subscribe. Morks out.